Humanity is on the brink of a momentous leap forward in evolution. If we are wise and strong, we can and should make that leap. This evolutionary transformation takes advantage of rapidly improving technology. Technology that arises from positive virtuous cycles and unprecedented interdisciplinary convergence. This technology will grant us awesome powers. The power to capture ample energy from the sun, the atom and beyond. The power to synthesize new materials, to rejuvenate our environment and fuel our societies. The power to realize an unparalleled abundance of health, security, vigor, vitality, creativity, knowledge and experience. The power to consciously, thoughtfully, proactively remake humanity. Through imminently available technology, our lives can be radically enhanced, expanded and extended. We can be the generation that banishes disease, destitution, decay and death. Our societies can become marvels of autonomy and inclusion, featuring splendid variety and harmony. We can move far beyond the earth, spreading ever higher consciousness in both inner and outer space. We can transcend our original biological nature and become as if divine. We'll be as far ahead of current human capabilities as current humans exceed the prowess of our ape forebears. But technology is a two-edged sword. Alongside the potential for transcendent improvement lies the potential for existential destruction. We face fearsome perils of environmental catastrophe, unstoppable new plagues and pathogens, rampant unemployment and alienation, the collapse of world financial markets, pervasive systems of unresponsive computers and moronically intelligent robots that act in frustration to human desires, horrific new weaponry that could easily fall into the wrong hands and precipitate Armageddon, and intensive mechanisms for draconian surveillance and thought control. Continuing the status quo is not an option. Any quest for sustainability of current lifestyles is a delusion. We cannot stay still and we cannot retreat. The only way to survive is radical enhancement, moving from humanity to humanity plus. We'll need great wisdom and strength to successfully steer the acceleration of converging technology for a positive rather than a negative outcome. We'll need to take full advantage of the best of current humanity to successfully make the leap to Humanity Plus. Grand battles of ideas lie ahead. In all these grand battles, smart technology can be our powerful ally. Technology that can unlock and enhance our human capacities for insight, innovation, compassion, kindness and solidarity. We'll need to transcend worldviews that insist on viewing humans as inherently diminished, incapable, flawed and mortal. We'll need to help individuals and societies rise above cognitive biases and ingrained mistakes in reasoning. And we'll need to accelerate a reformation of the political and economic environment so that the outcomes that are rationally best are pursued instead of those which are expedient and profitable for the people and corporations who currently possess the most power and influence. As more and more people come to appreciate the attractiveness and the credibility of the Humanity Plus future, they'll collectively commit more of their energy, skills and resources in support of realising that future. But the outcome is still far from clear. Time is short. Risks are high and there is much to do. We need to open minds, raise awareness, transform the public mood, overturn prejudices, establish rights, build alliances, resist oversimplification, avoid the temptations of snake oil purveyors, dispel distractions, weigh up the best advice available, take hard decisions and accelerate specific research and development. If we can navigate these slippery paths with wisdom and strength, we will indeed witness the profound, glorious emergence of Humanity Plus. What you've just been listening to is a Transhumanist Manifesto by David Wood, 
that was originally written on my blog, dw2blog.com. For more information about some contemporary transhumanist initiatives, see londonfuturist.com.